What's happening, guys? Hope you all enjoyed Turkey Day, or Tofurkey Day, or Worthington Dinner Roast Day, or whatever you ate on Thanksgiving. Now that you're back, let's talk about it. Personally, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. And believe it or not, it's not only because of all the eating. For me, Thanksgiving is a time when I can just sit back and relax a little bit. I've done all my studying for finals, in theory, and I'm ready to just take a break and be with my family. No classes to think about, no books to read, just some serious family bonding. And I think that's what we all want at Thanksgiving. It's what the holiday is for. And it feels so good that sometimes you gotta wonder, why don't we have more holidays like Thanksgiving? And I think I've come up with an answer. It makes us uncomfortable. We've developed such a culture of receiving and getting for ourselves that actually having to be thankful for the stuff we received is kind of weird to us. So we surround this one holiday in which we're asked to give thanks with a bunch of other holidays that ask us to get for ourselves. And some of these holidays aren't even a decade old. Let me drop some facts on you guys real quick. Thanksgiving was made an official holiday in the United States in about 1863. Black Friday, one of the most dangerous shopping holidays in the country, didn't start until the 50s. And Cyber Monday wasn't a thing until 2005. Then you throw in Small Business Day, which I didn't know was a thing until right now. That wasn't invented until 2010, just six years ago. Call me a Scrooge, but it looks like we're trying to bury this holiday like the people of Cuba are trying to bury Fidel Castro. As sinful human beings, we're not really hardwired to think about people other than ourselves. It's always about me, what I can get, what I can have, what I can spend on me. Thanksgiving, the one holiday out of the year when you can actually sit back and be like, man, I got a lot of stuff. I should really be thankful that I got all that stuff instead of sleeping on the street. So as we go into the Christmas season, a time where we're celebrating the greatest gift that was ever given to us, let's frame that in the context of the holiday we just had. A time to be thankful for that gift and all the other gifts that we received. There's a lot to be thankful for, so let's not sweep it under the rug. Always be thankful.